is Ian Anthony, and I am currently a senior at Florida State. I am majoring in Information Technology with a concentration in Systems and Services. I have an extensive background in networking, including network administration, engineering, and even help desk support. I am capable in many areas of information technology, but my primary interests are networking and project management. I have been employed as a computer repair technician for the past two years and have accumulated a vast amount of knowledge in these fields. Today, I am going to use this knowledge to show you how to assemble a computer using mineral oil as the primary mode of cooling. This is a very effective method of cooling a computer for periods shorter than 12 hours and is also a very aesthetic addition to any room in the house. The following tutorial is intended for a computer hobbyist and assumes you have basic knowledge of board level repair and assembly. I hope we have fun today. Let's get started. First, I will introduce the list of materials that needs to be purchased in addition to your preferred computer hardware. You will need a 5 to 6 gallon aquarium, a removable motherboard tray or homemade motherboard tray. Either one will cost you about $20. I'll be using a homemade tray in this tutorial. You can get a glimpse of it right there. A hot glue gun, an external hard drive, an external optical drive is recommended but not necessary. Last and most important, six gallons of mineral oil will be needed. Some optional items include an air pump, air stone, and some decorative stones. All the additional materials needed should cost about $150 in addition to the hardware already being implemented. Step 1 is to simply ensure that all materials are clean and free of dust. Step 2. Assemble the motherboard onto the tray. If using a homemade tray, drill 8 inch holes using the template supplied with the motherboard. Right now, I'm simply screwing the motherboard onto the tray. In step 3, you want to ensure that all of the components are attached to the motherboard, including the video card, memory, processor, and heat sink and fan. During this step, it is recommended that you plug your hot glue gun in and begin heating it up. In this step, you must also install the power switch connector and the reset switch connector. In step 4, after the hot glue gun is heated, carefully affix the tray to the rear of the aquarium using the hot glue. Be careful when sliding the tray into the aquarium as static can build up. Simply press gently and firmly and wait for about 10 seconds. The motherboard is now secure in the aquarium. Step 5 is an optional step. This consists of filling the bottom of the aquarium with decorative rocks if desired. Rocks are also effective at hiding unused power wires on the power supply. In step 6, we're going to be installing the power supply at the bottom of the aquarium. Depending on the style of your preferred system board, you might want this to be left or to the right of the aquarium. In this video, I have removed the cover of the power supply for aesthetic purposes. This should be avoided for novice users due to the risk of electrical shock. Install the connectors to the motherboard in the same fashion you would normally. Now that our power supply is installed, step 7 just included connecting the cables, adding additional accessories such as this fan right here, and adding a few more rocks to make decorations. 
As you can see, I have connected my internal optical drive, which I am currently using as an external drive, and my external eSATA hard drive. I'm now going to begin the installation of the operating system. Now that all of the components in the computer system are working, it's time to organize everything in a pleasing, aesthetic fashion. Once everything has been arranged to your liking and the operating system is up and functional, it's time to pour in the mineral oil. This step can be done with the computer powered on or off. Here we are at the halfway point. Notice the mineral oil is about halfway filled on the aquarium. The power supply is completely submerged and the computer is still running. Here we are at the final stage. As you can see, the aquarium is filled with the mineral oil and it is still functioning. The bubbles add an extra aesthetic effect. Here's one final shot of the system in use, and I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you guys for joining my tutorial on how to build a computer using mineral oil as the primary cooling agent. Have a good evening.